what's up everybody i am back again with another video and today we'll be going on a different reaction video today another one so let me read the title for today for, for today for y'all hold on for a second pregnant walmart and employee caught stealing cash for a louis vuitton purse yo this is this is crazy like like I never seen, I never heard nobody who steals money trying to tries to get a sixteen hundred dollar bag. Like that's crazy. Like I'm gonna react to this today. I'm gonna let y'all know this. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notifications, and make sure you don't miss another video. And let's get into it. They say desperate times call for desperate measures. In this case, two Walmart employees thought it was a great idea to steal over $10,000 from their job. Here's how the scheme worked. They would take empty gift cards and load them up on their register without actually receiving the money. Each transaction would vary anywhere between $300 to $500 per day. To make matters worse, they stole the money to buy Jordans and a Louis Vuitton purse. As, I, as we look back, we watch completely. There's no gift card. That's usually the gift cards that they'll take and they'll be uploaded into the system. They swipe oh, if it, it does it. And they'll, let, they'll upload it to the gift card. But okay. for this transaction, she they put it on the gift card. When the officer met with loss prevention, he explained how both employees started to load the gift cards without putting money into the register, then eventually upgrading their crime to stealing cash. Okay, so then um, can we watch another video of uh, Raven? Of course. See, Please. this is the gift card. She did, let's see. She never swiped it. Okay. Because she was probably anticipating, I'm assuming, probably. anticipating she was going to have to put some on the gift card? Yeah, split it. What's okay. the exact total on that one? 193. So she took 193 of this. One by 96, you know? Um, this one comes up to 193.14. So I don't think she took the 14 cents. Oh, that's good of her. Okay, so let's... <laughs> let's watch another one. Okay, and this one's still Raven. This one is for 219. Oh, no, no. No, it's... 334. God damn. 334.92. That's for Raven as well? Yeah, of course. Oh, oh my God. What kind of... What kind... Like, what kind of... Two dumbasses employees would, would have took out that kind of money just to get a pair of joints and a fucking Louis Vuitton purse? Yo, oh, my God. We got... We got... We got dumbasses on that job stealing. Okay. He had that three. What so was what, it? What day was that? This one is for. This is a receipt for our original sell date of six sixteen twenty three. Transaction was being refunded at six nineteen twenty three. Six nineteen twenty three. What's the time frame on that? Uh, nineteen sixteen. What's the total value of the receipt? Total. Total says three thirty four ninety two. Three thirty. But. That refund items. Oh, she. Okay. I think she only oh. refunded damn near two nineteen. Mm -hmm. It was on cash. Okay, so this is that same receipt that that you just showed us. No, this is a whole new one. No, the three. No, three hundred thirty-four dollars yeah. okay. and yeah, eighty-two cents. Okay, so again, we're not seeing any actual product being returned. It's just a receipt that. This person is entering in Romeo, for Romeo. What the name is on here? He's on here. He's on the back door. Romeo Marco. Okay. So in this video, Polo, she she's showing him how to do it. Pretty much. She's instructing him on how to do the refund. Okay. Okay. We'll do her next. Let's see, she was in the nail salon. Once he texts me, I gotta take you back there. No, my thing is, so he can go. So Stephanie's at the nail salon? That's the other family. That's the Stephanie. 
Stephanie's the pregnant one, the big fat one. That's it. Loss Prevention recruited another employee to bring both thieves to the office where officers would talk to them. They wanted the arrest to be safe, especially since one of the thieves was pregnant. However, as they were watching the cameras, they saw the employees actively stealing cash from the register. The big one that was in there with the with the clothes with the Walmart the thing on there. Doesn't know what they look like. Give me a second. So that's So which one is it? Stephanie. So that's at the. In the back. Yeah. She was going to get her nails. She she was getting her nails done. You said. Yeah. Okay. So far it's at five twenty eight. Okay. That's only two videos, right? Yeah. yeah. So this is her again. This is the same really? day. Yeah. Because she's wearing the same clothes. What's the day on this one? The same day. I talked to her. This one for sixty something dollars. Just just working. I'm holding the the TTY rescue hotline for a welfare check. I'll do it. I'll have them go up there when I get seventy two seven seventy two thousand. Might as well just find the seventy dollar ones and we'll yeah, just like two of the seventy dollar ones. Or ten dollars. Yeah. Oh, is it a pregnant one, Stephanie? Yeah. Okay. But the other is pregnant one is a cow. There's two pregnant ones that one's the only one. Is it still Rachel? Uh, is this all for Rachel? Once again, Raven? Was Raven, sorry, I'll yeah. Charge the button. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Let's go back up once. fucking evidence man why people can't just understand do not steal from a job who got a place got a place a business of a of a place they where you go buy stuff and like these are the type of dumbass people who steal from their job who like like who does that like this is the reason why people can't be trusted and then this is the reason why a lot of people are homeless because they because they don't learn how to save money and without taking it it doesn't belong to them like for real like that's crazy to me like see this is the reason why we live in a crazy ass world who is stealing from a place of business that you work at and people and people are struggling and people want the most expensive things like the Jordans, the Louis Vuitton purses or the Gucci bags and all that shit learn how to save money get a second job stop stealing from a place of business that you work at let's get back into it Yeah. 
Like the police officers are not stupid. Come on, man. Just give this give the person name and they will try and they will find that person. Man, people are so damn stupid. Oh, I was looking over there. I was looking at my TV. This one? Yeah. Alright, that's fine. It is what it is. Alright, appreciate y'all. Just sit back down for me. We'll be done shortly. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. 1545. What's all this? I do not like making mistakes with all this shit when you get to that desk. Um, with my luck, last week the money got stuck in the money count. Oh. So I was there for like an extra 20 minutes there. So we're at 1545. She got more money. She does? Yeah, right here. Fifteen eighty three, fifteen ninety three, fifteen ninety four, fifteen ninety five, plus change. Alright? So, mm -hmm. so I got fifteen ninety five in cash, cash and I'm gonna organize it and recount it one last time. So you you do I just wanna be All right. I'm gonna leave you. The employees were arrested and initially upheld the criminal code not snitching on each other. However, when taken to jail, they all confessed to the crime, pointing fingers at each other. 
It turns out one of them stole the money and spent it on Jordan sneakers and a Louis Vuitton purse. More arrests were made and the total loss was just over $10,000. Anyway, let us know what you think in the comments below. See you next time. Wow, that is just like insane. Like, how in the fuck, like two, like two dumbass employees pointed their fingers at each other and they commit, they did committed a stealing over ten thousands of dollars. Like, like I'm gonna say this, like people in like. Like for real, like this is the reason why I type of people who steals from their jobs because they act like they can't afford a pair of shoes or pay or like a pair like a like the most like a sixteen hundred dollar bag. Like, I just don't understand. Like, we live in a world that people take stuff it doesn't belong to them if they don't want to learn because they don't want to learn how to save money if they already got bills and they already on behind shit and they act like they don't care because guess what they these are the type of people who fuck themselves up and put themselves in a bad situation like that <sighs> i don't know what to say about this and i'm gonna say this to you i will never work with somebody who steals from a place of business that i work at that's crazy so anyway i want to thank i want to thank everybody for watching this video so y'all know to do like comment subscribe and don't forget to turn the notifications that make sure you don't miss another video and i will see y'all guys in the next time video peace